All right, mechanisms. Who doesn't love mechanisms? <laughs> so this mechanism is called alkene uh, isomerization. All right, so let's get into it. So what happens here? So you have, I'm going to draw out this molecule. So you have some type of acid coming in here. And so this, this double bond comes and attaches to this hydrogen. And so this bond breaks and the uh, oxygen uh, gains a negative charge. So what happens here? This hydrogen will attach the, mo the least substituted um, carbon. So, and then you'd get a positive charge here, but because um, next you have a hydrogen, so because it's a carbon and it doesn't have any charges, you know you have a hydrogen there. Uh, so the conjugate base of this acid. it's negative, we'll take a hydrogen from this molecule, and then this bond will become a double bond. So, what actually happens here, sorry, you missed a line, is you'll get a double bond here, and this is your final product. So ultimately, you have some type of alkene, um, and an acid comes in, and the alkene with the double bond takes the H and uh, brings it back to the least substituted carbon. Next, um, you'll have some alkane and with a positive charge on it. A carbocation is what it's called. And so the conjugate base of that acid now with its negative charge comes and takes a hydrogen. And then this bond becomes a uh, bond of carbon to hydrogen becomes a double bond ultimately getting this product. This product's more favorable than this because um, you have a double bond where it's more stable because it has more um, carbons connected to it where it has, um, it only has one carbon here. Here it has one, two, uh, three carbons connected to this double bond, making it more stable. So that's alkene isomerization.